Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to my channel. To my channel. To my channel. <laughs> Not just playing, y'all. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Elaine and I'm the owner of what? LBE. For those who are new to my channel, LBE stands for Love Basket Express. That is the name of my gift basket company. And um, I am here to show you guys another video. And uh, we're going to make a holiday basket using a what? Crock pot. And we paid what? one penny for it yep that's right you heard me right I'm a Dollar General clearance shopper um, and I was able to look up and find some of these about two years ago at Dollar General and I have two left and I decided to go ahead and make some holiday gift baskets out of them okay um, I used the rest of them during Father's Day and they sold really really well so I said you know what let's make two holiday ones and you know make it do what it do um, I also have some mini ones that I'm gonna bring out um, that I'm going to utilize into holiday gifts as well um, I'm just waiting on some other things to hit the stores and then I'll be able to put some stuff together with those. Um, but anyway, let's get into this video. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Let's make it do what it do. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I have already placed my paper um, inside of my crock pot. I have wrapped the crock pot box because it still has the lid in it. I kept that inside um, and the book and instructions and all that. And of course, I'm putting the my last recipe uh, stand in a basket and I completely forgot to take the price tag off. So y'all bear with me just a second. Let me get this price tag off and we're going to keep this show rolling. All right. So um, what I did was I took one of my $10 blankets, which was originally was originally $10, but I got it for a dollar. I took one of those blankets added the 70 cents recipe uh holder along with this dollar 25 um holiday um cookbook that i got from dollar tree um added in um uh, one of the dollar tree mittens um and then i'm going to add in um a hand towel and a um square uh oven mitt um and that is from walmart during the christmas um these were 98 cents a piece i'm also going to add in this 60 cents candle that i picked up from dollar general clearance um, there is the oven mitt there um, and the hand towel. Um, this is the last holiday hand towel and oven mitt that I have on hand. Um, so, of course, the next crock pot that I do is not going to have the holiday all the way. It's going to have, like, um, a, you know, a color that blends in, but it's just not going to be holiday themed because they don't have these out yet. And I don't want to use the ones from Dollar Tree. So, um, as you can see, this is, like, raw, uncut, straight to the point struggle is real trying to figure out where i want to put everything um and as you can see i'm going to place things in so many different areas because i want them to be displayed um to a certain extent but i also want to be able to make this efficient and um occupy majority of my space so you're going to see me move a lot of things around um but y'all just bear with me as i figure out how i'm going to put this basket together because i have no clue okay <laughs> so y'all keep watching Y'all, I swear, sometimes building a basket is like solving a puzzle. You're trying to figure out which way you want to go with it. And it gets so confusing sometimes. But I told myself, I'm going to keep this video straightforward. So if anything falls over, tips over, whatever, y'all about to see it. Okay. Because, you know, that's the life. That, that's what comes with the territory of making these gift baskets. You just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to flip off, flip over, flip under. And, and I really didn't like the mugs like this. So I decided to turn them a different way. Um, it just made it more uh, easier on the basket. And I didn't want them hanging off too much over the edge so i decided to turn them up that way um to give them a better look and of course y'all know i taped and glue dot everything down to make sure it all stays secure um however you know tip overs come with the territory when creating a basket 
Um, and I just want to make sure I'm occupying the all of my space to my full potential. Um, this is everything that I had picked out to um, stay within the budget of this basket of where I wanted to be with it. And I wanted to make sure that everything, I didn't have to add anything extra. I wanted to make sure that I was, again, occupying completely all of the space um, and fulfilling the basket to make it look fun and festive um, for the holidays. Um, I've had several people already starting to, to get their thoughts and processes together for the holidays. So I'm kind of continuing to make more and more, um, as many as I possibly can with the inventory that I have left, um, and make it do what it do. Okay. So, um, this is pretty much the, um, completed basket. Um, now I'm going to go in and just add my sh filler, basket filler shred, whatever you want to call it, um, then fill in the holes and the spaces and the gaps, um, and as you can see, again, tip over. <laughs> but your girl, what? Caught it in time. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Because uh, that would have been a total disaster all that hitting the flow back there. Um, but anyway, I went on and fixed it and, and corrected everything, straightened up the blanket in the back and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, it's all it takes is a little patience and correction to, you know, make sure everything is more stable and sturdy. Um, I think what it is is I added too much paper in the bottom of the basket, but I really didn't care because I knew I was going to be using like candles and the mugs and stuff like that. And I didn't want um, that stuff sinking down or the basket looking funny. So anyway, um, I was able to pull it together in Jesus name. Thank you. Um, and then now we're putting on um, the cellophane. As y'all can see, I use regular cellophane a lot for those you new to my channel. Um, I use the shrink wrap or heat seal or whatever you want to call it. Um, cellophane more catered to um like the more company orders and things like that i use that that for that and then sometimes if i need to use it for a birthday gift or something like that i'll use the shrink wrap but um i don't use it often um especially for gifts that i'm like setting out at a booth or a table or something like that i try to hold back from that because if anything happens in transit i can easily take it apart and fix it and then put it put the plastic back together versus not having access to a heat gun or um or whatever you want to call it and not being able to close it back up the correct way with the heat the shrink wrap um, so that's one of my things i try to think about when i'm creating my baskets um that i'm going to take with me um if they don't sell beforehand um, i want to be able to make sure i'm able to fix and correct things along the way um, so that's why with the larger baskets and baskets and any baskets that sort of made like this and things like that I try to use the regular cellophane. Um, I've already added my pre-made bowl. Sorry y'all It just it was easy just to go ahead and make it ahead of time. Okay <laughs> And as y'all can see my bowls are pretty busy uh, And I have three colors flowing through this one um, the little leaf pattern and then the tan and the red um, I just thought that coexist and tie in with everything um, and then now I'm just basically taping down the sides making sure all that's nice and secure um and then we're gonna finish, pretty much finish this basket up baby this is a wrap okay Alright y'all, so basically here is the finished product. As y'all can see, this basket is complete. Um, it is ready to go downstairs with the other baskets. I thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, share comment, and, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.